Roll and troll. What the is up, my people? How are you guys doing today? We are back with a another video today. The topic of our video is why age? Should we end aging forever? What do you guys think about that? If you have the opportunity to live forever, would you want to? Be very honest. Think about vampires. Think about uh, if you're if uh, if uh, if, it's a, if you're a girl. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? There's time. Or you know of uh, Vampire Diaries. Think of something like that, like uh, Twilight. Or think of uh, mm, just anything uh, vampire related. Think of how they have to live forever and how a lot of the times they're like alcoholics or they're sad or they're crazy. I don't know, some shit like that. Would you guys want to live forever? I think me personally, I think I'd rather have the option to live forever and then choose when I want to die. Like I want to have immortality, but I want to also be able to choose when I want to die, if that makes any sense. What would you guys want? Put that down below. But we're going to get right into this video because I'm kind of interested to see what it has. It's a short little video, so we're not going to try to make this video too long. Hopefully. If you, you had know. to choose right now, how long would you want to live? 80 years? 90? 120? Longer? And do you think you'll change your mind once you reach that age? How long would you guys want to live? Me personally, when I was a kid, true but also weird story when i was in like fourth grade i had a teacher named miss abacunas and um i told her i said uh i told her i was like i was gonna live till i think 31 or 32 or something because we were talking about that in class and um she said how do you know you i know when when do i want to die and i said 31 32 she said uh how do you know you're gonna die that age and i told her um i was gonna make it happen if you know what I mean. Now uh, that was, let's just say after that, that was a very weird moment in class because it's weird when a fourth grader tells you that he's gonna off himself at 32. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's not true. Like I wouldn't do that at 32, but like I said it. 50,000 years ago, most humans died very young. As we learned how to use the resources around us to treat ourselves, this got better and better. Today, true. humans are living longer and healthier lives than ever before. Medicine. But this has an unforeseen consequence. We spend an ever-increasing part of our lives being sick and in need of care. Kind of Most of us will die in a hospital bed, which is depressing enough by itself, but we also have to witness the same That's happening true. to our loved ones. Except, maybe, we can stop this forever. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I don't think we're gonna be able to solve the equation for life. I don't think we're... I don't think humans are gonna get to that point. At least in... Definitely not in my lifetime. But I don't think humans are gonna get that to, to that point unless we fix a lot of things. Like if we can, uh, if we can become like a higher level civilization, as weird as that sounds. The most effective way to treat a disease is to prevent it. It saves many more lives if you stop a million people from smoking than coming up with better chemotherapies. That's true. So why not put a halt to the cause of all disease, the process of aging? In a nutshell, aging is caused by oh. physics and not biology. Think of cars. Parts wear down from rubbing and grinding. No. Metal rusts, filters get plugged, rubber cracks. Our bodies are worn down by trillions of tiny physical processes. Oxygen, radiation from the sun, our metabolism. Our bodies have many mechanisms to repair this damage, but over time they become less effective. So our bones and muscles weaken, our skin wrinkles, our immune system gets weaker. We lose our memory and our senses diminish. Damn, okay. What do you guys think about that? Because honestly, it is weird to think about how over time your body kind of just starts to like get weaker. Because uh, when you're fairly young, you don't think about it. Like me, I'm fairly young. So that's not something I think about. But over time, it's like, it's inevitable. And it's something that you know you're going to run into. But it's something I haven't experienced. So what do you guys think about how you can... How, how your body can just give up on you like that and not give up on you but de like uh degrade over time like that like do you think that could ever be solved i, I personally don't think so i think it can, i think it can be improved on to where like um we can like find ways to like slow that down like we have now with modern medicine and hygiene and other things like that but i don't think um i don't think we're going to be able to slow it down directly much more there's no such thing as dying of old age we all die because one of our important parts breaks. The older we get, the more damaged and fragile we become until one or multiple diseases take over and kill us. 
Unnoticed by most of us, longevity research has made some unprecedented advances in the last few years. For the first time, we're starting to understand the mechanisms behind aging and how to manipulate them. Oof. Aging is Power. neither mystical nor inevitable, how. and we might be able to stop or delay it during your lifetime. I don't think so, personally. But it's kind of crazy how, like, we, we as a uh, society have gotten to the point where we can, like, do crazy shit. Like, alter genes. We can uh, teleport things that's actually real. Uh, I think. I think. Um, cloning for a fact is real. It's been happening for years. Just crazy shit like that. Like, humans can kind of play God, and it's kind of crazy how we got to this point as, uh, uh, of a society. We'll discuss the science behind it and how scientists are trying to stop it in another video. But first, if we could, should we end aging? Is this a good idea? The end of aging or life extension makes many people uncomfortable. We're born, are young, Why? become older, and then we die. So this has been the natural order for literally all of human history. Thanks. And getting old is a good thing, right? Kind of, yeah. We celebrate the idea of living long enough to experience old age. We even call them the golden years. But the reality is that everybody wants to become old, but nobody wants to be old. Very true. Everybody wants us to uh, get to a certain point to where they're a certain age and they're at a certain status, but they don't want to get there and then see the other side of that where later on that ends and they get younger. Not younger. Older. <laughs> I'm sorry. They get older and they, um, and things start to slow down for them. So it's one of those things where you want it, but you don't want it. Think of the Greek myth of Tithonus, for example. Never heard of it. Tithonus was the lover of the goddess Eos and probably an amazing dude because she begged Zeus to grant him immortality so they could spend eternity together. But she forgot to specifically ask for eternal youth. Oh. Tithonus was granted eternal life, but he kept aging, unable to die. After a few hundred years, he was reduced to the size of a grape, babbling on senselessly forever. Whoa. Thousands. That's fucking crazy. Okay, this is why I like these types of videos, because it shows you facts like this that you would have never heard of, never thought of, never expected. So, Tithonius, if I'm saying it correctly, is um, it is basically similar to like, uh, who was it? I was thinking of it in a comic, uh, Death. How Death, Thanos, Death, and Deadpool. If you know that the story of those three and how uh, Death, <clears throat> how uh, Thanos was cursed with eternal, I forgot what it was. Basically, if you know that story of how Thanos, Death, and Deadpool kind of got into an entanglement, and then it was a situation similar to this. That's kind of crazy. Thousands of years ago, humans already feared never-ending old age. But ending aging does not mean getting weaker and weaker. If you become too old, it's too late. A 90-year-old who stopped aging would die anyway after a few years. Too much damage has been done to his internal machinery. There are already too many surfaces for disease to attack. Instead, the concept of life extension promises to end diseases and with them, the end of a fixed maximum age. We don't know how much we could prolong our lives. We might make every human healthy to the currently accepted maximum age of around 120, or we might stop biological aging and disease indefinitely. Be crazy Nobody knows at this point what's possible. Okay, but even if we could achieve that, should we? If nobody knows it's possible, how can we say it is possible? Uh, 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 never mind. That's a terrible argument, but I was going to say how, if we don't know uh, what's possible, how can we say that we will eventually end um, uh, aging or slow down aging? We? Well, life extension is really just another phrase for medicine. Yeah. All the doctors are doing is trying to prolong life and minimize suffering. Very true. The vast majority of healthcare resources are spent on the consequences of aging. Nearly half of your lifetime healthcare costs will be spent during your senior years and another third during middle age. We are actually already trying to prolong life with our current medicine. We're just doing it very inefficiently. Trying to stop aging from happening is not less natural than transplanting a heart, treating cancer with chemotherapy, using right. antibiotics or vaccines. Okay. Nothing I'm humans sure do nowadays is purely natural anymore, and we enjoy the highest standard of living ever as a consequence of that. Okay. 
So what he's saying is prolonging age is like a, basically prolonging age is the same as just like modern medicine, which is um, like things like, uh, say for instance, you get a cold and you can have uh, medicine to like get rid of that cold. That helps you uh, live longer. Cause say for instance, you had no medicine and you had poor hygiene and you're just susceptible to more disease that quicker and that's basically what they're getting out of this whole video and uh you probably get that you're probably smart enough to understand that i don't even know why i'm explaining it to you but for anybody who does not know what the, the point of this video is trying to say that's basically what it's saying what we're doing right now is waiting until it's too late and the machine is failing and then we use the vast majority of our resources trying to fix it as well as we can while it breaks down even further but life extension still feels hubristic most people assume that they will want to die once they reach a certain age, I think and I'm this wanna, might uh, still be true. The idea of avoiding death entirely is off-putting for many. The end of biological aging would not mean the end of death in any way. It's more like a summer evening when you were a kid and your mum called you inside. You just wanted to keep playing, have a little more fun during sunset before you went to sleep. Basically. It's not about playing outside forever, just a little longer until we feel tired. If you imagine a world without like disease where you and your loved ones could live in good health for another 100 or two. Okay, so now. Because this video is very fast paced. Let me slow down real quick. I like how the way, uh, and I think the channel is called Court. I don't even know how to say it. I'm not even going to try to butcher it. But um, their channel is very good at like making these types of topics sound very smooth and fluid and very uh, good and keeping you engaged. That's why I really like their videos. And um, yeah, I just really like their style of video so i may do more of these if this video does well so let's see how 200 this years how would this change us would we take better care of our planet if we knew we would be around longer if we could work for 150 years how much time would we spend figuring out what we're good at how much more time would we spend learning would the intense lot. feeling of pressure and stress many of us are feeling right now go away or get worse so asking again so if you could choose how long to live right now, in good health and with your friends and family, what's your personal answer? What is you guys' personal answer to that question? How long would you live right now if you could decide? What age would you die at? Drop that down below. Me personally, I'm sticking to what I said in fourth grade because I, I ain't switching around. No, I'm joking. Um, if I could pick an age, I would say... It depends because if I'm like fucked up when I get older, that's terrible. If I age really well, if I age really well, 70. If I age terribly, 45. No, fuck that. If I age terribly, 55. Maybe 60. 60. Fuck it. 60. If I age badly, 60. If I age well, give me 70. I'll take another 10. You know what I'm saying? Because I think it'll be good when I get to that age. I think I'll be chilling. I'll, I'll, I would have done everything I really wanted to by that age. But let's end off this video. What would you like your about. future to look like? <clears throat> but maybe you're still unconvinced. Some nagging feeling remains. Mm -hmm. That is the Reaper whispering into your brain. Watch my video to hear what he says. No. And why you shouldn't listen. No. All right. That was the end. I don't know why I keep doing that. That was the end of the visit. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was the end of this video, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, drop down below what you guys thought about this. Don't don't forget. I can't speak today. Do not forget to drop down below your uh, personal age that you would want to die at. Don't forget that. And then maybe I'll react to this video right there. Right there. Uh, Drop that down below if you want that too. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Drake your hoes and everything. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace. That's an out, Pluto. Got a lot of blue stones on me, baby. I ain't trying to take home. I ain't trying to take home. I just got another phone. I just got another phone. Tell her gotta leave me alone. Tell her gotta leave me alone. Got a lot of blue stones on me, baby. I yeah. got another zone. Cross got another zone. And I got another home. And I got another home. I just want some better dome. I just want some better dome. Got a lot of blue stones on me, baby. I don't even know you now. I don't even know you now. Like a son of Johnny Depp. Guys, box new chain. Guys, box new chain.